What a treat of an episode, guys. What's going on? Chu here bringing you a, another review on the Bad Batch. And guys, I got to say, this was truly a top tier episode for me. One of the best episodes in the entire series. Because, not just because of a Jedi or because it's Gungi, but, but the fact that this truly felt like Star Wars to me. Like, I loved seeing Gungi. Uh, character who honestly you know was probably overlooked because of what was going on in the Clone Wars but to have survived this long phenomenal and then loving to go back to a planet that to me holds a lot of love for not just me but the Star Wars community as a whole which is Kashyyyk loved it love seeing clones working together with the people the Wookiees again seeing Wookiees in general everything I love about this episode truly 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 do now let's go ahead and get into it so this episode starts off as a regular mission for sid trying to find some valuables uh we're trying to buy some valuables that we're going to uh get from this i guess you could say kind of black market kind of people and uh you know it, it looks kind of fishy they're run by droids um uh, and we see Omega staying behind with Echo. Echo is kind of like the same as Omega. Not really a good feeling about this place. We don't really know what this place even contains. Because if they're willing to get a, you know, a, a Wookiee, essentially, a Jedi Wookiee, what else are they having there? And we see how Gungi, you know, was trying to put up a fight. Omega helps out. He's skeptical about it, understandably so. He sees Echo gets defensive. Obviously, we know that the Jedi and the clones don't get along anymore. Obvious because of why Order 66. And Gungi is just in the put in this position of what do I do but trust this little girl? I have no other choice. And I see that it was the right choice. And so I'm glad he went with that mentality. He takes out some of these droids and he pulls his lightsaber back and helping out. They are surprised, uh, as in the clones are surprised, to see that this Wookiee is a Jedi. So this obviously means a lot. And one of the things that I thought was interesting too was the fact that these droids mentioned that the buyer wants him alive that leads me to believe that maybe palpatine vader someone that knows of the value of jedi or the empire itself would want someone like him alive or even an inquisitor you know that's something that is possible and obviously this is all kinds of palpatine and we know that from watching obi-wan if you have watched the obi-wan kenobi series that jedi were taken in alive and used so that is a possibility as to what might have happened to Gungi. So luckily, we see that him, despite his hesitations, trusts the clones, gets on the ship, leaves, but not before him, him looking back and seeming to have a doubt from leaving because maybe someone else was there that maybe was a Jedi, we don't know, but he has no other choice but to leave. And so I'm kind of kept wondering what was left there you know was there anything else there obviously it's a question that doesn't get answered and i'm not sure if it'll ever get addressed but we have gungi not sure what not sure if he should trust these people but we see omega being the person that she is tries to kind of get to gungi we see that he she offers you know, a lunchable essentially and he's hesitant he eats it the clones, I mean, we have hundreds start talking to him saying, you know, for you to be able to survive this long, you know, that that takes guts, you know, and, you know, I'm, you know, we're proud of you. Basically, we are not part of the empire. We do not follow the orders that were given to us. And so we are here. You know, we're not we're not in favor of the empire and we're not going to hurt you. I do love how he says, like, put your lightsaber away. He calls it laser sword. It draws way too much attention. And when we arrive to Kashyyyk, I love seeing how this planet is just done. It's so very, like, jungle-esque. It reminds me a bit of, like, episode 6, you know, Return of the Jedi when they were on Endor. But, like, still, like, obviously Kashyyyk is like that. But, you know, it is wonderful to see a planet like this and the, and the uh, clones being able to return as well, you know. It had been so long since they had been to Kashyyyk. They were able to understand some of what Gungi said. And him wanting to return home also, you know, is important. He just doesn't know where he belongs, you know. As we all know, the 
Younglings were taken at a very young age, and so his his memory of his home may not even be the one that he found. You know, we see that the village was completely destroyed by the Empire. And speaking of the Empire, we find out that Trandoshans are working with the Empire and wanting to find something of value in this planet, trying to extract all its precious resources, which is where we see the Wookiees, you know, what remain of them, hiding in the higher parts of the jungle. And we see the clones bringing Gungi there. Uh, he has been taken in by them, but they are kind of hesitant with the clones they speak with them and obviously after this conversation we see that the leader yana actually is able to take them in and they're willing to help out and i love how hunters like you know we were allies of the wookies during the days of the republic we should still help them out and i love how echoes the one that just pushes up decision making where it's like hunter we need to do something we need to help he's been saying this since episode one of this season like he's been wanting to do more for the rebellion and so i don't know what if that like i said in my prediction video uh, i don't know if echo is going to make a decision where he's going to split off from the group and perhaps wanting to do more for the rebellion that's just my thoughts you know and i may make a separate video for that i don't know but i i would not be surprised if something like that were to happen but we see that the empire along with some of the clones that are with them are ready to snuff out what is of what remains excuse me of these wookies we see that the bad batch and the wookies team up they hear the plan from the trees they use the planet basically to their advantage and taking down the empire and these clones and claiming victory so it was a beautiful thing and then by the end of the episode we see both gungi and omega kind of touching the tree as um as hunter echo and all of them and even yana the leader of the you know wookies just kind of watch and realize you know these these kids don't get to be kids they they have to fight out a war and basically escape and try to do their best to survive and i thought that was just great this episode to me is one of the best episodes not just because like what i said but for all the elements in it so let me know what you guys think though i'd love to really know your thoughts here as always though guys stay safe take care of yourselves and others and if you're new to the channel subscribe but i'll catch you all later